Hi, my name is Lily Mitchell. I am a differently abled filmmaker from Brisbane. I produce and edit, but sound is my specialty. I have a eye condition, so I'm legally blind. That is called cone rod dystrophy. I see something similar to TV static on the front of my eyes. So finding my way around a computer or an unfamiliar place can take me a bit longer than it does for others. Often I'm walking around kind of like, is that the front door? Like... I've discovered it's always handy to have a smartphone with a magnifying function. Film really helped me through some hard times, so that's why I've followed that passion, I guess, to try and help other people like me and just create worlds and stories that help them escape or learn or grow or reflect. I'm also finding ways to create awareness for people with a disability, like this project that I did for Griffith University. That's why we're here, to share what we've learnt to help... Sometimes it's hard to convince people I'm capable on a film set. The mirror effect. Oh, okay. My partner, Raman, a videographer, is one of my greatest supporters. She's a really excellent sound recordist and sound designer. There's always a question about, like, her capabilities. Is her vision going to impact the film? Yeah, that kind of affected me because I know how good she is. As a child, I was encouraged to take up para-athletics. I made it to the national championships. And it kind of got drilled into me. This is how I interpreted it anyway. The most success that I could give or create for myself or give to, the, to, give to others and things was being a Paralympian. It all became too much early last year. One of my fears was always running into someone. I had such a fear of causing someone else pain because of my visual impairment. Two people happened to walk into my lane and I hit them, um, which was like hitting an invisible wall. No one was badly hurt, but my confidence was shattered. And I just really started a journey of grieving that identity, that perceived identity that I had to be a Paralympian to be of any worth or value. And I basically took a whole year off, ordered a lot of food and stayed in bed and cried when I needed to. And, started kind of rebuilding who I am and what do I think of myself. I'm now back on the track for fitness, not competition, with my training mate, Jamie. I'm definitely her eyes, but she's my ears, so it works well for both of us. I was born profoundly deaf, so I have no hearing whatsoever in both ears. I wear a cochlear implant on my left side and that has enabled me to access speech. Everyone has value, no matter what they're going through and who they are. And therefore, no matter what I do in life, whatever I choose to do, yeah, there's value in it. <laughs>